Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply eyeliner to mature eyes to get a lifted effect. So as you can see, I've already got my eyeliner on and one eye looks very downturned, very droopy. This eye definitely looks more uplifted, definitely looks more awake, more youthful. And for me, that's how I want my eye makeup to look. Now that I'm in my mid fifties, I've noticed that as each year passes, I have to adjust my eyeliner a little bit more to get more of a fresh, more youthful look. So rather than doing it this way, I now do it this way. I'm not saying that this is bad on everybody. This could look beautiful on you and you could rock this kind of look. It very much depends on your eye shape. And really that's what makeup is all about is, you know, really making adjustments for your face at the age that you're at or your face and how it's created because everyone's face is completely different from everyone else's. So it's all about experimenting on your own face and trying different things and seeing how it looks. Now, both eyes, I use the exact same eyeshadow. So there's no difference in the eyeshadow from this eye to this eye. This is purely the difference that just eyeliner makes. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's get into the tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a black liquid liner. And I know a lot of people will tell you that if you're more mature, you are not allowed to use this. Well, <laughs> I actually love this. This is one of my favorite products. I use it all the time. There are no hard and fast rules for people who are more mature. It's makeup. You are allowed to use it just because you're over 50 or over 40 or over 60 or whatever you can make it work for yourself. It does offer a few more challenges because I will admit it is harder to use once your eyesight is not so great. And so your best friend is going to be a lighted makeup mirror. So I have this lighted makeup mirror and I love this guy. It's got regular magnification on this side and it's got 10X on this side. So a lot of times the lighting isn't perfect where you're putting on your makeup and having a lighted mirror can help you actually be able to see what you're doing. I'm using my favorite liner which is the Clinique Pretty Easy liner and as I said it is in black. So I'm going to do the don't eye first. So I'm going to do it first without a wing and then I'm going to add a wing for those of you who want to wear a wing because again <laughs> there are no rules that say that you can't wear a wing once you're over a certain age. So we're going to start at the inner corner. Press that along at my lash line. So just doing it that way, the first thing I notice is number one, wow, does this eye look a lot bigger? And I will give it to black eyeliner. It always makes your eyes look bigger. Plus one of my eyes is naturally bigger than the other. Let me go ahead and do the lower lash waterline on this one. So I'm gonna use a dark gray. This is from the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips, and this is the middle shade. And we're just gonna rim the whole thing and we're gonna bring it up here to meet the other eyeliner at the outer corner. So that is going to be the don't for the eyeliner without a wing. And as you can see, that already draws the outer corner down because the outer corner of my eye, as I get older, is starting to droop a little bit out there. And so we really want to have that lifted effect. So now I'm going to show you how I would do the eyeliner on the do side. I can do this with the liquid, but I'm going to show you a different method that might be a little bit easier than doing liquid. And that is to use an eyeshadow with a push brush. So the eyeshadow palette I use today is the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And in this palette, there's a really dark black in the lower right hand corner. So when I'm using eyeshadow as eyeliner, I prefer to use it wet. And so to wet it, I'll just use a regular old setting spray because that will help it to lock into place better. So you can use any old setting spray for this. The one I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I just take a tiny little bowl like this and I just put a couple of spritzes in there, just enough to coat the bottom of the bowl. Whoops, there goes the cap. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush, and I'm just gonna dip it into that setting spray. Then you just dip that brush into the black eyeshadow, and that is gonna be your eyeliner. I wanna tip my chin back and look sort of down into my mirror so that that lowers my lid so I can get above my lashes. And then I just wanna press that at the base of my lashes and move it towards the inner corner of my eye. And I'm gonna stop right where my lashes stop. Dip it back in the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna continue on the outer portion of my eye. 
just pressing that along the lash line and instead of bringing it all the way down to the corner of my eye I'm gonna stop at about three lashes away from the bottom corner of my eye so for the lower water line, instead of rimming my whole eye with a dark color, I'm actually going to use two shades. I'm going to use a really light, bright color. This is the Marc Jacobs Gel Liner, and this one is called In the Buff. And so for this, I'm going to do my water line. And that one I'm going to go from outer corner, because I want to really brighten that up right there. I'm going to go all the way to the inner corner, because I also want to brighten up the inner corner. And you can bring that out of the waterline and just put a little bit at the inner corner and also where you didn't put the black eyeliner on the upper waterline. So that is really going to brighten up that inner corner. Then the second shade I'm going to use is the lightest shade from the Physician's Formula set. And rather than doing my entire eye from inside to outside, I'm just going to do the outer third a little bit below the lashes and that helps to just kind of smoke out and define the outer corner. I'm just going to smudge it in a little bit. So now can you see the difference in how this eye is lifting and this eye is drooping? All right, so let's move on to the wing. Let's say we want to wear a wing liner, so why not, right? So I'm going to go back to the liquid liner to do the wing on here. So that looks really good and lifted, and that's what most people are doing. And then you let it go, and what happens? <laughs> it droops down there, and from the front, it looks like it swoops way down and then it goes way up. So that is not really the look that we're going for. I am just going to add a little black at the outer corner to bring those together a little bit more, because that gray is not really doing it for me out there. All right, so going back to the do side, the way that you would make a wing is that um, much like where you ended your liner, that is kind of where you make your liner start to go up. And this may take a few tries if you're just starting to figure out what is the exact place to put it and what is the exact size to make it. So you want to put your mirror down below so that you can look down into it rather than having to lift your eyebrow up to see what you're doing. When you're going like this, it's going to go higher, and then when you let it go, as we saw on this side, it's going to droop down. So you want to avoid lifting your eyebrow up when you do that. So my mirror is down here. So I'm closing my eye down and not lifting my eyebrow up. And I'm just making that straight line and then I'm just going to connect it across so now I just need to fill in the space right in there and then after we add mascara it's going to really merge everything together so that you're not going to notice so much that the eyeliner really doesn't come to the bottom of my eye but yet it does such a great job of lifting it up there. I always tight line the uppers so you see how there's that little bit of flesh tone underneath the upper lashes so that tends to make your eyes just look incomplete. So I like to add a nice creamy pencil liner there. For that I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs gel liner and this one is in irony. It's a matte gray. It's kind of a brownish gray and I love this one. It's not like a super duper black and that just kind of helps to join everything together. But again, when I do the tight lining, I don't go all the way down to the bottom here and I don't go all the way in to the inner corner. I only do it where I've already got the powder liner on top. Let me go ahead and tight line this one too because I would definitely tight line the liquid liner. But on this one, I'm going to go all the way to the inner corner and all the way to the outer corner. So let's go ahead and apply a coat of mascara to both eyes. I'll just do this super quick. So it's pretty clear to me that adjusting the positioning of the eyeliner really makes a huge difference in making my eyes look more lifted, look more open, look more youthful. Just looking at this side by side, I see a huge difference. The do eye is definitely much more lifted and all that other great stuff. And the don't eye is definitely kind of sad. It's definitely being dragged down at the outer corner. I want my eyeliner to help me. I want it to work for me rather than work against me. And so that's why I 
I do it the way that I do, even though it is counterintuitive to what most of the makeup tutorials that you see tell you to do. But as I said in the beginning, once you get to be over a certain age and you notice that your eye skin is getting a little bit different, you do need to make adjustments. I hope that you're able to take some of my tips and tricks from today's video and apply them in your life so that you feel more beautiful. So if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful and informative, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So thank you so much for your time, everybody. You know, I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.